hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel i'm going to talk about how i met my husband i met my husband while i was still studying in philippines it, um, life became very difficult for a nursing student who couldn't get money to pay her tuition fees i did everything possible to get money to pay my tuition fee i was trying but i think my best wasn't enough because i was owing lots of money to the school and at a point the school couldn't allow me to continue schooling because they believe they've helped me so i decided to figure out a way to get more money to pay my tuition fee i used to be a hairstylist when i was in philippines i braid people's hair nigerians filipinos but at a point i started braiding only filipinos because they pay much higher i have clients all over the places in philippines one of my clients told me about Boracay. she said do you know that you can make lots of money when you go to Boracay to break people's hair? Because there, there are foreigners, there are Filipinos who are there for vacation. So just go there. You, you make money. There are people there making hair, but glory, you are the best. So guys, I bought extensions, everything to set out for the journey with hope I'm going to make lots of money. <laughs> I booked my flight because it's, it's an island. I spent all the money I was saving just because I was going to Boracay to earn lots of money. Unfortunately, when I got there, it wasn't what I imagined. I was so, so disappointed. I cried, guys. I cried. I don't know what to do next. I had no money on me. I had no money to return. The money I had for my hotel, I finished spending it on hotel. Hotels were expensive at Boracay. Fortunately, <laughs> I met a Kenyan lady there through the help of a, a Filipino tour. The tour guy approached me. He was a very nice man, guys. And he asked me where am I from. I told him I'm from Nigeria. And he said, yeah, there's another black girl here in Baraka. She's from Kenya. I told him what I was passing through. I told him my problem. I did not deny because some people can deny. They want to act as if everything is okay. I did not act as if everything was okay. And he told me that... I should come he helped me carry my bag that this kenyan lady can accommodate me guys when i met this lady she was so nice to me very very nice so nice oh my goodness and we exchanged pleasantries she accommodated me and i told her everything i was passing through <laughs> she was encouraging me that everything would be okay We're talking about life experience i was telling her how i lost my boyfriend who loved me so much and how other guys I've met are treating me and I, that is not what I want for myself. She's like, why not um, date a white guy? I said, yeah, I, I want to date a white guy, but, you know, it's not easy finding them. She said, you are in Boracay. There are lots of white men here. Download um, this app, Tinder, Badoo. Who knows, you can meet any, you might meet anyone here. So I became interested, I downloaded Badoo, I downloaded Tinder, but I became much interested with Badoo. So while I was still waiting for money to get my flight ticket, and one of my Filipino clients booked my flight ticket. Since my mission was not accomplished when I went to Boracay, I used that opportunity to enjoy myself. I went to parties, club, swimming, I was enjoying myself. So guys, when I came back to the Gupan, I started making use of do so much. And I met lots of guys there, a lot of guys in that Badu. But my husband, when I met him, his picture wasn't even nice on his profile picture in Badu wasn't nice. So I was like, who is this guy? I wasn't really much interested, but he was really chatting me up and I was replying like just for replying sake he told me he was in philippines he came to philippines for vacation he lives and work in kuwait he's from serbia i told him about myself initially i was scared to tell him where i came from because i've been chatting with other white guys and so i told them i'm nigerian they blocked me or they stopped chatting with me and then i said i'll stop telling um people that i'm nigerian so i started telling them that i'm from zambia um these other countries that is not nigeria and they were chatting me up chatting me up but within me i wasn't happy about it my conscience was judging me like you're you're denying your country so when i was chatting with darko my husband i don't know something 
when he was asking me where I came from, I, I keep, I don't want to answer him. I, I keep answering his question with another question. So at a point he, re he realized that, um, I'm, I'm trying not to answer where I came from. He, um, asked me for the last time, where are you from? Glory. I told him I'm from Nigeria. He said, is that why you are finding it difficult to say? I said, yeah, because I've chatted a lot of people and they stopped chatting me because I'm Nigerian. <laughs> he said, it's okay. We know Nigerians are scammers, this, but don't worry, I'm smarter. So that was how we got along. We were calling, we were talking, and then he requested for my WhatsApp. I gave him my WhatsApp. We kept in touch. And that was the period I wanted to take my son to Nigeria because um, him staying with me was a kind of burden school hospital duty and taking care of him so i decided to take him back to nigeria to stay with his grandparents so i told dalko immediately when he was asking everything about me and he asked me what i was doing in the philippines i told him and how i'm struggling he was like why am i struggling going to break people's hair i said yeah because i need money to pay my tuition fee he now said let us meet because he has a flight to catch to go back to kuwait so i said okay i have to meet him he was in san fernando where he was surfing because he loves to surf okay and i was in manila processing my baby's papers so i said okay let's meet then he was scared of the traffic in manila and he said since i'm not in the gupan because he would have come to the gupan to visit me so let's make it like this let us meet at angeli city is that okay with me i said okay Let's meet at Angeli City. So I have to drive one hour, 30 minutes from Manila to Angeli City. On our way, we were still chatting. He, he, he did not know his way, though he was using Google Map. And when he got to Angeli City, I told him to come and wait for me at the park terminal. He doesn't know his way to the terminal. You have to pay a tricycle man some money to show him the way to the terminal. He was waiting. I told him I'm coming out. Guys, when I saw him and he saw me, the way he... <laughs> He hugged me. He hugged me as if we've known each other for so long. And for me, it was um, love at first sight. I loved him. Immediately I saw him. I didn't love him when I was chatting with him because his picture wasn't clear. And when we made the video, he wasn't in a clear place so that I could see his face very well. But when I saw him physically, guys, oh my goodness. I just loved him. He looks... Yeah, he is older than me, but he's just what I want, guys. I'm I'm done and tired with all this shit young guys are doing with with me. So I think someone of his kind can treat me much better. And today I'm not regretting it, guys. He hugged me so tight that I couldn't breathe. I said, oh, I can't breathe. He said, sorry, sorry. He was sweating. I said, why are you sweating? He said, no, I can't believe this. I've seen you. I've seen you. Oh my God, you're so sexy. Look at your body, guys. My butt. Is flat, but he was still praising my flat bum on that I have big butt. He was praising my 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 physique. He was like, I have nice shape. He was praising me. The next day is supposed to be my birthday, guys. So I told him the next day will be my birthday, guys. He took me to a nice place to eat. I ate, and he bought me clothes. Guys, you know white men, <laughs> they are very stingy. I've met some guy white guys before him. They are very stingy. They hardly give you money to, for transportation to go on. Like Nigerian guys, when you visit them, they will tell you, nah, take this one for your transport fare. White guys cannot do that. Some, I don't know all. But this um, guy, Darko, the way he ran to the car and opened the door for me to sit, started calling me his queen. He bought this, he bought that. So that means there are different white guys, man. We spent the night in a nice hotel. Mm -hmm. The rest is history. And the next day, I was supposed to go back to Manila, and he took me back to the terminal. People, Filipinos were looking at us. I love this guy. He's cute. He was everything. He's kind. And I was about to leave. He opened his bag that I should get money for my transportation fee. Oh my God! I just see money. And then immediately I remembered I was owing the school. I feel like packing all the money. <laughs> I said, no, behave yourself, Glory, behave yourself, you're not a bitch. I just dipped my hand. I took, was it 2,000 pesos? <laughs> I said, okay. He said, sure, is this enough for you? I said, yes, 
me and my man, I was like, is this man testing me or what? I don't know what he's doing. I just took the money and then I, I left. When I was on the bus, I was like, if I now I should have collected more. <laughs> so guys, he traveled back to Kuwait. I made sure I was keeping in touch with him. I don't know why. I stopped chatting with other guys. I was ch chatting with him. I said, no, even though I don't end up marrying this guy, at least let me have I'm a friend in Kuwait, right? And even when I went to Nigeria, I was still in touch with him. I was telling him everything. I was showing him around. He loved the places. When I came back from Nigeria, we started chatting more. I was keeping him updated of what is going on in my life. Anytime I have clients to go and braid their hair in Angeli City in Manila, I used to tell him when I travel, he calls me on video call. Whenever he's going to work, he calls me. You know, we were so in love with each other until I don't know how we talked about marriage. Before we talked about marriage, I really needed money to pay my tuition fee. I know he's capable to help, but I don't know how to say it. So I was scared that if I tell him I need money to pay my tuition fee, he's gonna run away. And I don't want to lose him. I just want to be chatting. I said, okay, if I'm going to be chatting with this man that's not gonna give me anything, so be it. He noticed that I'm very hardworking because every, like, two or three times in a week, I traveled to go break people here and I was making a come Nigerian pap. So he noticed how hardworking I was and he admired me for that. One fateful day he asked me how much was I owing in the school. Guys, to be honest, I was owing lots of money. A lot of money, but if I tell him such amount of money, my, the guy will run away. So I told him was the first installment fee. And he said, okay, it's okay, he can take care of that. I was surprised. I said, hey, really? God, let's let this be true. Before you know it, he said I should send him my name. The way it was in my passport, let him send me some money. Guys, he sent me money. I paid my tuition fee. Even the cashier was surprised because I was holding a lot of money. He came back to Philippines again, and we got married in Manila. And today I'm living happily with him, guys. I can't believe... This is real. The worst part is that I did not date this guy because it was just distance relationship. You don't know his character. He doesn't know my character, right? And we just clicked. And I'm living with him without any problem. God, I pray this lasts and it will last in Jesus' name. Because I love how I'm being treated. I love how I'm being supported. I love how I'm being encouraged. I love this angel that came into my life. And I'm so happy to share this story with you. So if you want to date a white guy, it's very easy to, you know, find them when you are abroad. Because there are a lot of them abroad in Philippines, especially. They love Philippines, coming to Philippines for vacation. Even my husband can't wait for us to come to Philippines for vacation because he loves Philippines so much. I would advise you to download a dating app right now that you are in philippines or abroad search for him you don't know you can meet him um don't ask for money <laughs> they might run away but anyway you never can tell everybody's different thanks for watching and see you in my next youtube video bye